Hi and welcome back to the Grad Compound. I just got myself a brand new GoPro Hero 4 and I want to use this for turkey hunting. I've got the waterproof case that it came with but I've also ordered this inexpensive case off of Amazon. I'll put a link to it down there below. You can check it out. Very inexpensive. An extra case for hunting. And I don't know if you guys have noticed with these GoPros, they're awfully shiny. They're pretty, cute little things, but they stick out like a sore thumb. Well, I wanted a case extra that I could camo up. Camouflage cases for these things cost $35, $40. Bucks. I got this case for, I don't know, $12, $13. And I'm going to show you how to camo it up yourself for a lot less money. Real easy mod for your camera. So the first thing you want to do is disassemble your case. I found a really big screwdriver. Take a good shot. Just kidding. All right. You just take the case apart. You guys should know how to do this if you have a GoPro. Get your camera out. Put that the way gently your little door snaps off and this is an inexpensive case like I said nothing fancy not original equipment come on door snap off there I don't want to break the damn thing all right doors off set that aside I'm gonna take the clip off the top just remove that and you're left with this now I'm gonna leave this on here and just tape it off you also need to tape up your view window and have a look at what you want to show when you do this. I don't want these little indicator lights to show on mine. I don't need them because I've got the screen on the back with this camera. So I'm going to paint that and everything that's inside that rectangle I'm going to tape off. So we're going to tape off the lens, this, the buttons, and uh, pretty much paint everything else. I'm going to tape off your seal on the back too. So the other thing you want to do to get the paint to stick is you need to take a piece of sandpaper and unshiny your case. You need to just kind of rough that up a little bit so the paint will have something to stick to or it's going to peel real fast. But you see how shiny this is? The camera should pick that up. Just a few scrapes across it with the sandpaper and it starts to dull up. And that's going to help your paint stick a little bit better. So I'm going to sand all that up and we'll come back. All right, so with the magic of YouTube, we've got this thing roughed up fairly good. Fold your sandpaper, get it in. I'm going to tape all these buttons off. I've decided I'll just take a black Sharpie. I don't want paint getting in these springs, making these buttons not work well. So I'm going to tape that off pretty good and just use a Sharpie on that a little bit after I get it all painted up. You don't have to worry too much about the top because your clip is going to cover the better part of that anyway this part of your clip na -na -na. there's not going to be a whole lot there that's that's not covered so get what's not going to be covered as good as you can and now we'll tape it off and get to painting I'm just using blue painters tape It'll be fairly easy to peel off and I've taken my fingernails and the back edge of this hobby knife and just kind of sealed it pretty good around this edge and then I'm just going to cut that away and you can peel it off after we're done with the paint. Like that. that nah. You get the idea. Do a little edit here. Get everything else taped off pretty much the same way and sealed real good. And then we'll come back and I'll show you that. So there we go. We got everything taped off. Even rolled up some tape and stuffed it in there where the top clasp is going to go. Taped off the bottom because I want that to work smoothly. It won't show enough to matter. It all taped off and scruffed up. I didn't bother with taping all the way around this because it's supposed to be camo anyway. And I'm going just one color for now. I might put another color on it, maybe make a contour line through it. And hopefully the camera shows it's all scuffed up real good. So it's ready for paint. We got a thunderstorm rolling in, so I'm going to wait till it's a, a sunny time to put the paint on it. And I'll show you that. So we got everything taped off, and I've scuffed it and got it all hung up. Make sure you don't forget that if you got a skeleton case, this little hole here, you don't need paint getting on the inside. So tape that off from the inside. And now we're just going to shoot some color on it. I'm just going to hit this with a couple light coats, one at a time. Got 
that good. Spot right there needs a little bit more. Okay, now we just gotta let that dry and we'll come back and hit it with another one. So here's our finished result. Don't look too bad. I like the color. I think I'm gonna leave it alone because it ought to blend in okay at that color. And if I decide to do something different with it later, I will. I'm just gonna start with this. Let's peel the tape off, see what we're looking like. I should leave that on for last. Da -da -da, da -da. Button. 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 Put two little pieces in there. For that, let go. Plug. A piece on the inside. Get that off there. So that looks good. Now we need to carefully dig out this piece here. Yeah, that's not half bad. Not half bad. So that's going to help us out a little bit. Now I'm going to take something and color those buttons, a Sharpie or something like that. And then we'll try it out. Yeah, let me close up. Much less shiny than it was. So there's my whole finished contraption for turkey hunting. This little tripod doesn't look like much, but it's going to allow me to wrap that thing around and sandwich it in between a board and the tree that I got my stand in. And it's actually going to hold it real secure much more secure than it looks so that case ended up coming up pretty good I went ahead and left this uncamoed so I could see through it I have the touch screen on the back of this camera that's a uh, Hero 4 and I will tell you guys something the GoPro backs won't fit the aftermarket cases they're different sizes if you get an original GoPro case to do this with you can this was like 12 bucks so works for me and it's good enough camo everything I need it for is going to be pretty much facing that camera anyway so there's one more shot of that all of those joints are going to give me the articulation I need to kind of work around the tree I'm in a little bit it would make sense if you were there it looks a little silly now but for filming it's going to work great so there you have it nice camouflage GoPro case on the cheap Get ready for a lot more hunting and fishing videos on the channel. Please hit that thumbs up button down there and hit that subscribe button up there. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.